Hello, welcome to Web Squadron, Imran Siddiqui, and we're going to explore a feature that you're all aware of, but it hasn't been done very much in depth. I'm talking about the blending modes, and we're going to be looking at the header. How does it differ between the different modes, whether you have a light or a dark font? Let's have a look at it right now. Hey, cool, you're still here. I'm so glad you haven't run away and clicked elsewhere. Right, okay, let's have a look at this. I've got a basic um, column here, one section, one column at the moment. I've just put in an image as the background uh, of a, uh, a lady's face, and I've just got a thick, bold header in there, okay? White font, and I've called it normal. That's all it is. And what I'm now gonna do is duplicate that, and I'm gonna try and put in the name of every single blending mode, and then what we're going to do is activate the blending mode and just see how does it look. So very, very quickly, like as soon as I click my fingers, you're going to see it all appear like now. Here we go. Just like I promised. So what I've got is multiple copies of that lady's image. And in total, we've actually got 13. And what I've now done is literally gone through all of the different options. So if I click over here uh, for the heading and I go to style, you'll see blend mode. And there's the options. Normal, multiply, overlay, color dodge, hue, luminosity, or luminous. Right, so this one is normal, and you can clearly see with a light font over an image, you can just about see it. Obviously, you can't see the end completely properly because it's, on, it's over some uh, white background, roughly white background. But this is normal, okay? This is multiply, and it's completely disappeared. It's just not showing at all. Um, Screen, overlay, one of my favorite ones actually, overlay. So this can be quite funky when you have a particular type of background, but a white font on a image like that, it's fine on the face and we get a bit of a color here. Let me just do this like that, okay? It, it, you can just about make out the letter row, but you know, it's not working very well. If that was a darker image, and let's just, I just want to make a point of what happens if I do that. So if I change this image here to be a darker image, like let's go for this one here. Just click insert. There we go. We can now see a bit more of the lettering. And what happens to this image if we do a darker image as well? Let's just have a look. Let's go for that image. No, let's go for this one here, just so we can see. No, we'll go for that one. Stop messing around. Let's just go for that one. There we go. It's still not visible. So the multiply is literally having very little effect at the moment. That's quite awful, don't you think? Um, we then have the darken. Again, not doing anything on a light image. Does it work on a darker image? So let's just change the background and let's go for, again, that image over there. Let's just see what that does. No, still not really doing anything. So you can kind of see that some work well and some don't. Lighten, doesn't look that different from normal. Color dodge. Doesn't look that different from normal. Now, the this what is this one again? Saturation and color are very, very similar in that what they're doing is it's almost adding this like gray effect because it's saturating the color out and the color one as well. Again, what would be the effect if I was to suddenly change one of these to be a darker image? In fact, let's just go for this one here of me because it's got multiple colors on there. Let's pick that one and yeah, it's still just doing that. Can you see? It's just a bit of a graying going on there with the color again. It's not massively different. These ones, however, the differ and the exclusion, uh, they are very similar in what they're doing. And they are just kind of like, it's almost like the negative effect, you know, the opposite end of the spectrum going on there. Um, they can be quite useful depending on the background and the color scheme you have here. And again, I'm just going to change the image just to show you well, what happens when we pick that one. How does it look? Can you, I mean, now it looks a bit crazy, doesn't it? Now it's like, well, what does that say? It says differ, by the way, for difference. But, you know, at the moment, I'm not feeling too excited by some of these. Hue, again, very similar to saturation. It just changes the color scheme. And luminous, well, that just looks very similar to the normal. So we're not seeing anything majorly, majorly different going on here at the moment. Now, what happens if we have a darker color font? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to my site settings. I'm going to go to my global color and I'm just going to change this one to be a 
dark and we can clearly see now we have a difference. I'll tell you what, why don't we go for a, let's go for a bit of a bluey colour here. Something like that. There we go, update. I must make sure I put it back to white or the rest of my website is messed up. Anyway, um, let's just come out of that. Right, now let's have a look at how the website looks. Now normal is the blue colour because that's what we picked. Obviously, multiply now, that's giving us something a little bit different. It is the same blue colour, but, well not the same blue colour, it's blue colour but a lot darker. And if you stare hard enough, you can actually see that it just seems to, it just has a lot more depth to it. I'm seeing depth, I don't know what you're seeing. The screen now is like, well, it's okay-ish, but it's not, you know, I just feel like, like now it's very faded out. So let's pick a darker background. Let's go for, um, let's go for this website, screenshot, vegan for you. If you're in South Africa and you like chocolate, go over there. That's now looking okay on a dark background. The overlay, it's doing what overlay does. Not so great. It's okay on the dark bit of the image, but on the lighter bit, it's now just fading out. Darken. Yeah, it's looking okay. Again, it's almost like it seems to have a bit of a, a two-tone effect going on here. So we've got blue, and it's got the blue on the lighter bit, and on the darker bit, it's now going into a more murky aqua colour. We have the, I can't remember what that one is actually, uh, the lighten, the colour, nah, not very excited about those. The saturation now, with a darker colour, now it is it is using a bit of a, a reddish pinkish saturated color is coming out on that again not really exciting at the moment my favorites are the multiply and the screen the color yeah okay that's not looking too bad but it's a little bit too faded for my liking the difference one now that is wow i mean we used a blue color and now it's giving us a bit of a red hint to it Exclusion, not so great. Hue, yeah, a bit similar to the colour really. And Luminos, well, it's kind of bits of murky red and a bit of dark grey going on. And if I was to just change the colour scheme again, I mean, what? let me look. Let, let's, just, let's just do it, right? Let's just do it here. Come on. Let's just go to the text and let's now just go to a lighter colour. And we can, let me just get my face out of the way so you can see things a little bit better. I mean, look at that. You go for a lighter blue and look at that saturation. That is so different now. And the difference as well, it's like a bit of blobs of purple and blue going on there. But look, you know, look, what happens when we go back to white and we start changing around to different color schemes? So look, you know, you go down to a really dark and some of them are just completely disappeared from view. Um, and they're not looking that different from normal and multiply at the top. But you start messing around with some really cool you know, brighten colours, and you're going to get something that's going to work for you. And sometimes multiply screen and overlay can be really, really brilliant when you have a really big image and you want to get a really bold, like, text on, but you want it to be transparent so you can see through it, you know. Um, but yeah, look, I've just done very, oh my God, you can't see me. Well, sorry, there I am. I'm back again. So, what I've done is I've just messed around with some colours and shading and I've just shown you what are the different blend modes. And I always say, don't be afraid to try them out. You know, find the one that works the best for your image or what you're trying to get across. I hope you found that useful. You probably didn't. So please don't hate me for it. I'm really sorry. But if you did, thumbs up. Two thumbs is even better than one. Subscribe and I will see you soon.